How's it going guys and welcome to the beginning of a new series called Let's Build. So basically all I'm going to do in this series of videos is just start with a random idea and start from scratch and try and build something that is actually a functional creation. Who knows what it could be, it could start out being a truck and end up being a hovercraft, it could start out a helicopter and wind up being a boat. This is how I build. So you wanted, uh, I put up a poll a couple of days ago, the majority of you, I think 97% uh, of you, except for that guy that likes to watch paint dry, said that you would like to see this. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's build. Today, we, uh, in this episode, we're going to build ourselves a hot rod. So we're just going to start with a, let's see, what kind of seat we're going to use. Uh, let's just use, let's just use our go-kart seat. And we'll put two seats in it because uh, hot rodding's always funner with a friend. So here we go. I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. This is in real time. So uh, here we go. We're going to plant that like that. We're going to need to make it decently wide. And I'm going to show you a cool concept, a cool way, a technique as well for dealing with wheel wells on cars. Uh, because everything in this game is so square and the wheels themselves have the hitbox around them. Say, for example, these wheels, this is square. So normally when you're building around it, you have to build something around it square. You can't get it within this hitbox. So I'm going to show you a way of dealing with that, uh, which should help with uh, any future builds of yours that are vehicles. So we're going to start with the seats like this. And now I'm going to build a simple frame underneath out of these beams here. So we're going to have it in one from the edges as far as width goes. And then we're going to copy these out, copy them out one more time. We'll select four of them and copy them out this way. That should be plenty large enough for our frame. We'll spin this around, put one on the end, one on the end here. Select these two, copy them back to this side. Uh, where our wheel wells are going to be is going to be right in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of pistons and we are going to set them between our wheels and the frame of the car. So what this is going to let us do is shape the wheel wells however we want to shape them. And when these pistons contract, see we'll select them all and we will set the speed as one start position we want it to be down to zero and remove any of the controls from them because this will be automatic as soon as it spawns in it will sink down so what we can do now is we have space here to work on our wheel wells without having the wheels themselves in the way so if we come out, let's see, even that's going to be too long. So let's grab, let's grab a three, see how that fits. That should leave us enough room. So this way it's also about the design of your vehicle, not necessarily what you're limited to as far as what the building is going to let you do. Uh, we'll maybe go with a deuce. And one, two, three. We can go four, maybe. I know four should work. Let's try four. We'll leave a gap of four. And we'll grab some slopey pieces here because now we get to make our curves. So we're going to start with some short, short pieces. Spin these around. Try and get us a bit of a curve on the wheel well. That might need to actually come out one more if we're going to come in like that. Copy that, spin it around. That like that, and then maybe a three, or we might actually even use two more of those. Because a three is just going to be too long, so we're just going to copy that, spin it flat or upside down, I should say, right around like this. This one here on this side, spin that one right around. So it looks like we're going to have to move all of this ahead by one, like that. So now we got a nice rounded wheel well. So we just going to, uh, let's see, we'll move that up here like this. Connect that one across like that. We can get rid of this deuce. And we can copy these right on over to this side. Oh yeah. And those ones are still not connected. So we're just going to put 
a placeholder deuce up here to connect these ones. One over here like this. Now see what we can do down here is we can remove these because we're going to have, let's say for example, we use the truck wheels. We can get rid of this front end now. We don't have the truck wheel. Now see, it don't want to fit in there nice and even. There's either going to be a little gap at the front or a little gap at the back. So we're going to leave that little gap at the back. And we're going to bring this down like this. And we want this to be, say for example, yeah, we'll say on the outside there, we're going to double that up eventually. So we'll copy one of these out. Bring it out like this. Do the same thing on this side. Put the wheel against there so that when we copy it over, it actually mirrors it. And we'll move those out. And this is where we'll put our single hinge steering. Always start on the right side. Give it one turn. Drop it in place. Mirror it. And your steering is set. Again, we don't have an engine. So let's see how that looks when we spawn it in. All right, so we have a bit of a gap on the top there that we can see, and we don't want that. So, we need to raise the wheels up a wee bit, so these ones here can go up. This, this, and this can go up. And we need to connect these in here, so let's grab a couple of deuces, connect them puppies, just like that like it was meant to be and now we're going to build that in and that should drop it down there we go so now we got some wheel wheels it sits right on top now we're going to build that and we're going to make that a different color up here so as you can all see the difference so let's make it say uh let's make it blue and we're going to make it metallic blue so now when we build that in now see the nice thing here, see that sits a little low, right? You'd be thinking like, well, I can't even see the wheel wells, they all buried inside the tire, man. So the beauty thing is, is that we can control how far these here come down. See, that is the beauty of the piston. So they start position here, let's try 0.2. So it don't come quite all the way down, right about like that. Now see, normally what I would do to try and get that same uh, arc across the wheel well is we let's see we got to get rid of these here deuces because they ain't gonna work no more and we're gonna take these here three pieces and move them out hey hey get back in spot get, hey sometimes these pieces got some mind of their own tend to wander off when you ain't watching so we're gonna take uh okay we're just gonna use this again to hold things in place don't get too excited now now we'll build that in and we can see that our wheel wells are nice. And if you want that a little bit lower, then you can lower those pistons down to 0.1 and they should hover right above your wheels. Let's try it, shall we? We'll adjust those magic little pistons down to 0.1 and then we're gonna build it in. And look how snug that is right over top like that. Right like that. We got no engine or nothing. Now see if we were to replicate that on the back side, we could do the exact same thing like this. We could take one of these and one of these. I don't think we need the steering in the back, do we? And then we copy it back here. Take this tire, copy it over on that side so they all spin it in the right direction. And then we're gonna copy this across here and make like a bumper from here to there. See, now we got ourselves an odd number. What's up with that? What's up with that? That ain't right. Oh, I see what's happening here. This is supposed to be inside like that. These two got to come in one more. There we go. Okay, we could put a bumper on the front too. Oh, we could. We will. Look at that. Bada bang, bada boom. That's going to get in the way of the steering, so we eventually going to move that out a little further. But for now... We're well, gonna copy this here, and 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 this here. Out to the back like this. And then we're gonna position it over top of our rear tires at the same height. And we're gonna need to copy one of these back. That's only a three. Why don't we just grab a four? 
seeing how that's what we need. So that, that, and this, and that, and this, and those, and these, and one of those, and bang. Bob is your uncle. We're going to copy that like that. And uh, what we're missing? We missing another deuce right in here? Is that what we missing? Or did we go with a three in there? No, we went with a deuce, so we're going to just rotate this one. All right, I guess. And then right like that. And now we're going to build that in because we ain't got no blinking exclamation marks. And we're going to see how that just sits all nice. It's a wee bit narrow, isn't it? But that's all right. Maybe it's going to be an SUV instead of a... See, that's what I mean. This could go anyway. It could go anyway, man. So let's see. We're going to finish up the body like. So we're going to take uh, this here forward. And we're going to copy it out. Drop it down. We're going to fill this gap down here. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see how low that goes. How low can it go? We're going to make them blue and metal. And then we're going to build it. And we're going to watch. Oh, it can come down even further. And so it will. So we're going to get rid of these. We're going to bring in a one of these. Put that in there. And we're going to see how many of these. Ooh, okay. Two of those. And then we're going to need a couple of deuces in here. Like this and like this. And let's make sure this still works. Beauty. Beautisma. Yeah, we can add a couple body panels on there to make it a wee bit wider. So it's as wide as the tires. So we'll copy these out to this side. Copy to the other side. All right. Enough of them shenanigans now. Get back to building. All right, all right. So we're gonna select all these. We're gonna make them blue and metal. It's cold. Blue and metal. All right. And those are just placeholders, so they ain't gonna be there long. Uh, now we got to make the body shape a wee bit. Oh, we're gonna need a little bit more up, up front here. So we're gonna copy this one here and stand it on up. Put it right in there like that. This one here, right like that. Uh, we could probably at some point use that. Let's see, let's get rid of those. And we're gonna bring in one of these here. And we're gonna use this like a front bumper type kind of deal, like that. All right, and then we're gonna get rid of this middle one here, and we're gonna go into these parts here, into our grills here, and we're gonna grab this thick front grill. And we're gonna put two of these puppies right in there like that. All right, so we're gonna make these blue now. All right, hey, both, both colors, blue, blue and blue, thank you. All right, so we could probably do the back thing. <laughs> Do the back thing on the same side we could do the same thing on the back side too we could we could do that but we might have to extend this out a little bit here depending on what kind of vehicle it is that we're making so we're just gonna put a couple like that we don't need no fancy stuff in the back so we're just gonna put that and we're gonna make that blue too surprise surprise blue and metal wow bet you didn't see that coming did you all right let's build that in have a quick look at our suv or vehicle at this point it could be anything now if we went with bigger tires in the back like them slicks it'd be more hot rodish so first thing first we're gonna have to put an engine in here so uh we're gonna just maybe we could just stick an engine uh but we want our engine to be low with our center of gravity so we maybe we put it in a frame down here so we're gonna put a couple make sure they don't interfere with anything up here Rotate this puppy like that, put that one there, and we're gonna put one there and one there. And it fits three across, so let's go three across and see what that does as far as power. Well, that, that moves us at like 70 kilometers an hour. That's great if we're going on vacation down to Florida. We're going to the Keys, kids! All right, so, yeah. That well, it gets us around for now, but you know what? I just want to select a couple of these and maybe just a little bit of, maybe a little bit. All right, let's check that. There we go. We're going to get to Florida a little faster now. We're going to do 100 kilometers an hour, and I bet you we get out the sand. These ain't the best tires for going fast either. The spiky tires are always your best bet for tires. If you're climbing rocks and you're going off-road, 
by Jesus, use them monster truck tires. They got the bestest grip. All right, so we're going to go back down to the spot point. We're going to take a shortcut. Teleport. All right, so we're going to build that up now. Let's see, we've got to finish the rest of this body. So what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to copy this here one up to here like this. Do we want to have a bit? Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad as far as size on the front end. And maybe a couple of these here little wedgie wedgies. We can fill them in across the top like that. And then we can copy one of these backwards like this, up like that, and then like that. And depending on how we want to put the wheel wheels on there, we don't have to leave those on there. But see, if we want to go with these rounded corner pieces like, uh, like this one here, if we did this like that, we might even be able to go outside like that, but well, well let's try like this first. We go like that, like that on the other side, and we ain't we ain't got real room to put one. I mean, we do, but that starts to get pretty bulky in them wheel wheels. All right, so we can get rid of these here, and we can switch those out with a full size piece. Look at that, super economical, taking two blocks and making it into one block. It's going to save us up here in the block count. We had 109, 109 blocks. All right, let's build that in, see what it looks like on the front end. It's looking real, real truck-like, not so, not so much hot rod-like. That's all right, that's all right. We can move our seats too. They don't necessarily have to be here or at this height. We can move them up a little bit. Maybe this is going to end up be like a... Uh, a Range Rover kind of cheap looking deal. So we can copy a couple of these here back. Come on now. A couple of these. Give us the hood. And now with the windshield, what we're going to do is a couple of these here, uh, four hedges. And we're going to stand them up now. Flip them around like this. See, that's still that's that's too standy uppy it's not sloping back enough so we're gonna have to do it with little ones so we're gonna put it like this and rotate like this put that like that and we're gonna bring one on this side and now we're gonna copy it and we're gonna flip it and rotate it and we're gonna put it right there like that now i'm gonna select these two and look from the top and we're gonna copy them right back like that now depending on what kind of vehicle you want to make here you could go up high like this, or you could just go with two. And that'd be like low rider in the front with your slope windshield. But so let's say if we want to go with a say a four slope on the on the roof. On the roof of this here puppy. Uh if we maybe you don't want it popping out like that. See now it's starting to look more cartoony and not necessarily more realistic looking. So you could maybe maybe it's a truck hot rod maybe it could be a so if it is that means we got this has got to go this has got to go and these can come down like that no talking low rider homes you gotta squat real low man you're gonna bump your head okay so we're gonna bring these back like this man and look at this it's already turning out to be like some kind of see that's not too bad man it's not too bad we're gonna throw some uh, thrusters in there too, man. So when you hit the gas, man, you go, Holmes. Like you just broke the law, sucker. Okay, uh, through the tunnel, let's go into the grassy area over here, man. I don't think it's gonna handle bumps too good, man. It's not really made for off-road, you know what I mean? So this time I was playing trail makers, you know, and I was like building with all these blocks, you know, and I painted this truck blue, man. And then I went to the grassy area, man, and I tried to stop and it just slid, man. That's like a Louis style tail, man. I'm telling you, Holmes. Okay, so let's build some more of this, man. So that's okay, like that. Uh, so we got the full size pieces up here, like this. We can get rid of these four. And uh, just like the magic I did before, man. Boom. We're gonna make four blocks into one block. Like that. Okay, so we wanna make this a little bit fancier. So we're gonna make some more angle pieces, like these ones. We're gonna take these ones and bring these ones back and spin them around and put them up like this. And then we're gonna bring another one like this back. 
like that. Let's copy this back one more, and then we're going to take these two again, copy them to the back, spin them up and down like, up and down. Kind of like that. Do we want it sloped in like that, or would we prefer them sloped back like that? That looks a little more truck-like backwards I get. So we're going to bring these back to the same distance as the back side, which means we're going to have to bring a couple of these in here like this. Bang, bang, bang. Sit them down. Bring that one over like that. Uh, we can copy this one up. Copy that. And we're going to copy it this way. And then we're going to take one of these here. Put it up like that. And we're going to do like this. Unless we want to go with windows in the back, which we obviously going to do. So, to do that, we just got to go with this same 1x4 slope that we got right now. We'll spin these ones around, because this one here is going to replace these suckers. We're going to get rid of these. We're going to put this one here like that. Copy one over like this. Like that. Now we've got some back window that we can see, Zada. Can you see it? I can see it. All right, so we can get rid of these here placeholders now because there is more holding this together than meets the eye. No, it is not a transformer. So we're going to go with our body pieces here, one of these. We're going to bring it on up. Bring it on up. And we're going to come across like this. We're going to copy these two to the other side because now we've got to change this here. What we're going to do is we're going to try and even that out. We're going to put a deuce right there. Oh, yeah. Booja. Like that, copy one across. There it is. All right. We ain't gonna worry about coloring them just yet. Now we can go with a bunch of threes here, but that's not, I don't think that's gonna make much sense because we're gonna have our window kind of slope down a wee bit here as well. So we can go with still with these. We're gonna copy this one out, bring it like this, put it down here. And now we can copy this out, copy that one out. Beauty, it fits. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. All right, bring it on over. All right, like that. And we got this little divot in here. Don't like it. I don't like the divot. I'm not about the divots. All right, so uh, we got we got to try and mimic this here, this here look with these two rounded pieces back here. Except maybe, maybe, maybe we gonna try, Maybe we're going to try and bring them up a bit just to give it the back end a wee bit more of an aggressive stance. So we're going to delete that. Delete this one. Nope. Yeah, we can delete that one. We're going to take this one and bring it in the middle. Pop these ones in like that. And we even going to bring this one up to match it like that. Now, we could. I mean, yeah, we probably will. But hang on now. Don't get the head of yourself. Okay, so we need uh, one of these here under here and copy that bag like that. That will work. So, uh, we need to get rid of this one and this one and this one. And then we copy, hang on, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And copy them to this side. Bang, 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 bang. Push up the buttons. Okay, nice on this side. So we have a corner here to fill in. Uh, we have a one gap and we got some space. We can put some body panels on there. If we can get something that'll fit nice on there, that would be cool. Uh, let's see if we can block out this back side, inside like that. Just like that for the back window. And uh, we're gonna need, uh, where do we put our little wedges here? Let's copy three of these, bang. Give it uh, the flip, at uh, the flip, and then we're gonna bring it back to here, like that, inside. Oh, except we could go four, we needed four. Copy this one. All right. So now we can take one of these and copy it forward and find out where our stanchion is gonna be. Oh separating the front from the back that seems about right right about there like that and again we want to give that a bit of depth we've got four squares there so we're gonna grab our one by four wedge bang 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 put that one up like that copy this one to this side gives us a little bit of slope there Okay, so body panels, we can go to, let's try our triangles first. So we've got our four by one. 
Let's see if we can get this to fit somewhere where it looks appropriate. Now see that's in the way of the tire there. So I cannot drop any load down. But it does cover up that single hole there, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Uh, is that the way we want it though? That's kind of maybe a wee bit backwards. We want it more like this. It doesn't cover up the hole. We can go like that. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll copy one out and spin it this way. And move it to the back side. Put it up against like that. And we'll use this for a running board down here. We'll put a chrome running board. That will work. So that gives the body a little bit more contour. So we're going to select these two and copy them over to this side. And now we're going to grab our chrome from our bumper section here. Uh, do we want to go with these steps? Yep. So there'll be two pieces. One's that have these, this little bump in the middle and the other one is a totally smooth one. So I'm going to go with the one with the bump on it to look like it's got a wee bit of traction. And then... No more in there. We're going to bring this back. Like that. And maybe a wee bit of detail. We'll go back to our pipes. We'll pull out our little corner pipe here like this, spin it right round, copy it to this side, there we go, now we'll select all of these pieces, and guess what, what we're going to do with it, what we're going to do, that's right, we're going to copy it over to this side, you guys are good, you've seen this done before haven't you, alright let's build that in, have a look, Yeah, not the greatest traction with these tires on the grass. That's not bad. Might look better once we get it all painted up and move our seats up so we're not squatted way down in the middle of nowhere. Like maybe about up here, like this. And the nice thing with this separation in here as well is if we want, we can put suspension on there, right? And then we can lower those pistons all the way down to the very bottom. If we so choose to do that. Okay, where is my pieces here? Uh, we got those connected on there, so that's fine. They should be able to bring these up. Oh, right, those are solid. Okay, get rid of those. Copy this. This one here, I remember, is an actual 2x4. It's not just a 1x4. Alright, so the seats are currently not connected to anything at all. So we'll just copy this, bada bing, and one of these to the other side. If anything is now connected, let's build it in and take a look. We're in the seat, much better looking in the seat like this. We can come up one higher on the window sill that looks, so that's cool. We can give that a wee bit of shape. Uh, this here can come forward. Help us fill that gap as well, and it will give us something else to put a nice slope piece like, um... Okay, uh, let's go with that 1x3. In here, and against like that. Copy it to the other side. And now we're going to go with, uh, 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 can we go with this? Would that look cool if we went like that, or is it just going to be in the bloody way? There we go like that. Yeah, that's not bad, because we can take our... I call it the most useless piece in the game, because it's only got one connection point on it. This little wedge is 2x2x1 two by two by wedge. Right, there's one connection point in the middle. No connection points on either side. So, it's like literally the most useless. Unless you're using these little triangle pieces, and then look, it fits! Ta-da! Okay, so we're going to copy that out this way, like that, and we're going to once again use the most useless piece in the game. Alright, so we got that like that, that's not too bad, that gives us a little bit of contour in the window shape. Uh, we kind of need the same thing back here, so let's select both of these and copy them back, mirror it this way, and again, I'm going to select these two and mirror them back. So that gives us a little bit better shape. I guess that bottom edge of the window could be a little higher, eh? Or 
or famous last words, right? It could go like this. Delete one of these. Select these, move them into the middle. Grab the four by eight. This way. Above the roof, drop it down. Okay, it'll go to there like that. Like this, copy it over to this side. And then what's that? What's that? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna make glass. And then, well, I mean, do we want to tint it out black? In all honesty, the glass probably looks better like a bluish color. So let's go with this light blue. At least it looks like glass. And so if we do that, we can get rid of this and this. And we can bring in a couple of these. Spin it nice and flat. Put that right in there like that. One on that side. One on this side, and then these one. This bang. Select these and make them the blue glass. Uh, the blue glass. A new novel on your bestsellers list. Okay, so anything that we want to be of color is the only thing is going to be that glass. So let's make all of this blue metal. We got the blue metals. And then we're going to make this the glass. Now this is glass. And build that in. Have a look. Hey, it's not too bad, eh? It's not too shabby so far. Again, you could do the same thing with a piece of glass in the back if you wanted. I mean, in all honesty, you could. You could. I could. Watch. Watch. I'll do it. I will do it. It's not a problem. Uh, oh, this might be a problem. Let's see. Find solution. This is how things work. Uh, we're going to take these. Uh, we're going to build like this. I'm going to take two pistons. I'm going to put them. I'm going to spin them around so I have connection points on the bottom. And sticking out this way, one on that side. Uh, maybe one here, one here. Now I see if I have room for taking this. Here, we drag and drop from this side. Now we see if we have room. Oh, this is not going to work, I don't reckon. Unless I add extra piece. Because now they are touching up there. I don't want them touching. Oh, they are touching now there. Oh, this is very traumatic. It's not good times we are having here. Ah, uh, we are trying to make window that opens, but this is not going to work because these are connect. A piston glitch will not work. Ah, uh, okay. Or maybe, maybe there is uh, no window like that. Hang on. Bring that back. Bring it on back, Charlie. So we're going to get rid of the pistons. But uh, we can leave the windows. Or even better, even better, we can have sloped glass. So we will bring the fours like this. I'm using the force loop, don't you worry about it. Like this. And then uh, we just go one up this on this side and copy one other side. But surprise, surprise, these ones, these ones are going to be glass. Bet you never saw that one coming, eh? So, now we have lots of glass on the back. It's bulletproof, don't worry, it's all going to be okay. Uh, if we would have thought about it earlier, we might have been able to make some, uh, some windows here that could have rolled up. But we would have had to thought about that from the beginning, so that we could build around it to allow the uh, glass to actually slide and the bricks to slide without getting stuck on the other stuff. So... This needs to be black because it's bumper, or maybe it could be chrome. This could be uh, could be chrome bumper too, maybe, like this. And uh, these ones could be black, or maybe dark gray like they were. Maybe light gray, maybe white. Maybe okay, white is more standing out. And a back bumper as well is going to be chrome like like this and 
like white. So we need to finish body panels up here, across top into the back. This might be where we need a three rather than the four. Don't have lots of room to play with here. Flip it right round, get the right angles that we are wanting for body panel like this. Maybe hide a little bit of that missing single block in this back corner. We could we are going to put brake lights there. Well hey, while we are thinking, we are doing. Okay, lights, brake lights. Bang. One there. Copy. Brake lights complete. Okay, back to what we are doing. These ones. So if we put that like that, uh, we want to bring other piece to try to match here without looking too silly. So maybe, maybe a three. Is this going to look silly? Like that. And then we have to make this junction in here, which is maybe possible with a three. A three by one. Maybe we put this in here like this. Like that. Kind of go with curve. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm going to say is uh, sold to the man in the blue truck. Okay, now we're going to make these ones. And another nice thing I always try and keep in mind when I'm building, and again, this is the artistic side. But panels like this, individual panels like this where you have a line, you can use that when you're coloring to give it that contour line to make it have a specific shape or a line that you can uh, that you can accent on your vehicle. Okay, so now we need uh, headlights. So we need lights like, uh, we need a couple like this. Oh, hang on, hang on. Like this. One uh, like this here. We need better looking front grill than that. It's kind of flat. This is not too bad though. It's not too bad for the truck looking thing. Uh, so better headlights like this. We can put these ones like this. Rotate outwards. These are stuck down. I would prefer them to be stuck on the side rather than on the bumper. Like that. And if we wanted to, we could actually copy these up here as well to have full full grill action. So we will do that like this. Copy. Now in here, if we want, we could go with a different shape, something that is not necessarily for this place or this purpose. But we could put we could put angle sensors in here to make look like bigger headlights that don't actually function as headlights. So Let's have it look see what it looks like once it's built in. That's not too bad, eh? So I mean, I don't even know what that is. That like an SUV? Is that like a truck, a Range Rover, suburban? Do big time grocery shopping. So let's accent this. So we want the wheels to not be the same blue as the body. So maybe, maybe. Let's see, white, the nice white rims to go with the chrome. Okay, let's do that. We'll leave the hubs blue. And then our accent line. Now, we don't have much of an accent line on the front here. But that is possible. We can go down here to our accessories, down to our bumper section, and we have our tiny little pieces. Tiny chrome. Tiny chromes, like this little thin strip. So we'll bring a couple of these out, like this. And then we'll go with our little end piece, just like this, rotate it around so it points forward. Let's copy these, again, to the other side. Make sure that the tip is facing forward, it is. Okay, so because we've got that chrome line down there, now I can select this, 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 this little one in the back here. This one, this one, and this one. And we're going to see what color is going to accent this blue. Maybe we could go with like an orange. Maybe not metallic, maybe just straight. Straight orange color like this. I mean, we could, if we wanted to, we could select our curved pieces here. Select that same orange, make sure that they're all the same color. 
and deselect and have a look, see how the line actually looks. That's not too, too bad. We can continue the line to the front here if we wanted. The color, anyways, like this, select these. And then this one, make that normal, make that the same orange. Then we've got a nice continuous flow that shows the darker body on the inside. Let's see, we'll build that in. How does it look? It's not too bad. All depends on your color preference, of course. So let's finish that up. Make that regular orange as well. Hey, hey, regular. I said regular. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side here. However you like, wherever you'd like more color, or if you don't want color, you see maybe these two here would be the orange as well. Continue that line to the back, and also leave a touch of it in the back for accent. And then like that, if you wanted to, you can make the roof the same color as the orange. Or you could even accent these little side windows and this sidebar with another color or make just this back side a different color. And you can make the frame all gray. So it's like a metallic frame. Like this. Nice and light gray. We'll even give it a checkerboard like that. So it looks like it's tough stuff, eh? And then these ones here, we'll select these two. And might as well do the ones in the back. Like this. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Checkerboard. Light grey. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Off the top of me head. And like I said, we need to give it a wee bit more boost. So, inside the body, let's put some thrusters, because that's where thrusters like to live. Like this. We want to keep it somewhere down, not too far low, but uh, keep our... Definitely around and close to our center of gravity. Let's zoom in here and have a look. Uh, we don't want to get in the way of the engines when the pistons come down, so let's go about here. Copy one to the other side. And then we'll copy two of them back like that, and those are set to space already. So we just need to select them all. Color. The blue. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, no, don't need a hover pad. Build that in. Drive, drive, drive. Thrust, thrust, thrust. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh oh, this is gonna be shabby. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. We didn't even lose any wheels. Cool, so there you go guys, episode one of Let's Build. We ended up with an SUV. We wanted a hot rod. But that's the way it's gonna go. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and we will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.